tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Daniel Golden Boy And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ready. Ready. Go. Right here we go with the start of round one. A couple of well-rounded athletes here to be sure. We sat down with both of them in the fighter meeting, and they said they're kind of going to see what the other gives them before going too heavy on the stretch. You absolutely have to take your time. When you're fighting a guy that feels like you're looking in the mirror, you cannot make mistakes. you got to think about how you would fight yourself whenever you're fighting someone that's well-rounded as you are. So when you get in there, you take your time, you feel it out, and then you formulate a plan that will allow for you to win the fight. Nice combination there. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Finds his range with the jab. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Connected with a solid strike there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover. Another one. He's hurt bad. Could just about do it. Oh, huge left. Oh, landing some big shots, too. Oh, right hand landing. There you go. Oh, nice. Well, the one thing about throwing jab is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Oh, here we go. Oh, nasty cut there right on the bridge of the nose. Thirty seconds to go. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Take down attempt late in the round and he gets it. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Big ground and pound. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this Ready fight is fight. going. Ready. Second Ready. round underway. Keeping him honest with the jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch to the head. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. 
Double it up on the jab. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Beautiful right hand over the top. Trying to kick the leg out. And he blocks the shot there. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best pick the fighters in the UFC. Back and forth we go. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel Golden Boy, Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great.